know, we can get into this whole technicality tonight. Sayyid Tariq Pirzada and Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, Maruf Raza and General Bakshi. Uh, Mr. Pirzada, good evening. You know, we can get into this whole... Good evening. We can get into this whole business tonight of whether there is a coup, whether there is no coup, whether it's a hard coup, whether it's a soft coup. But I just want to begin by saying that it's truly sad. and I take no pleasure. It's truly sad what is happening in your country because you can call it by any name. This, this is just another coup which has happened in Pakistan, right before your eyes. I'm sure it makes you introspect about what really has gone wrong in your country, doesn't it? Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, doesn't it? I mean, another coup in, in Pakistan. Now, you can call it a real coup, a half coup, hard coup or soft coup, but there has been another coup in your country. You're asking me to answer that? Either of you from, from Karachi or Islamabad. Abid, Air Vice Marshal right, Abid Rao, Sayyid Tariq Pirzada. Okay, saying. go ahead. I think Mr. Pirzada wants to go ahead All first. Right. Let me start by saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, your desire to see, your desire to see democracy, uh, you know, undone in Pakistan is quite obvious uh, from your earlier comments that democracy and Pakistan are not made for each other. They're not. With that it's unfortunate, premise in mind, but that's true. And I know... I, I know that makes your day. That makes your day. No, it doesn't. Uh, it makes that. me very sad. But let me quickly say, you you'll be you'll be dismayed at the fact, and you'll be very much uh, sorry to know that the armed forces have just issued a statement, which says, and it is on the national media, that we will not be dragged into this political trug uh, struggle. That we are being sir, unduly sir, you dragged know, into it's, it, it's so, and we will know, stay away have, from uh, that. They just said such, that. No, so you your know, you your, know today, your critique is not, you know, uh, tell you does what, not hold in a, any substance yes, so far. Yes. Now, uh, now, you'll now, have Mr. Pirzada, wait now, for now, another Mr. day Pizzada, for the coup Mr. of the Mr. army. Mr. Pirzada, I know, I, I am completely aware of the fact, and Maruf knows the subject quite well. In fact. I'm aware of the fact that this I is I don't how it know if Maruf, Maruf knows anything at all. No, oh, fine, that's okay. Let him speak for himself. I'm aware of the fact that in banana republics, a comment from the army is taken as a, a nuclear state. A, a, in a banana nuclear republics, state a that challenges from the India. Army is taken a as a vindication. That is taken as a vindication India. of. Well, I just make one point with your permission. A sir. nuclear what state. What has happened is that there is nothing Maruf. That Maruf, in India. my view, there are three reasons. First is I, I'm so sorry that the first civilian transfer of power in Pakistan's history is now collapsing. But, but this is a coup, isn't it? Because the, Pakistan Army, Maruf, wow. because the Pakistan <laughs> Army, instead of backing the government it owes its allegiance to, is playing the role of chief negotiator in finding a settlement, thereby putting the army in the driver's seat of the democracy. I mean, I don't know why Maruf, these, our guests from Pakistan aren't seeing what is so apparent to the whole world. Ornab, Ornab, the first point is we are not discussing Pakistan's military capabilities. So Mr. Pirzada should not rattle his nuclear weapons in front of us. We know what their capabilities I are. That. And to some extent, military I didn't say experts do respect it. I said to some it's a extent, nuclear state. They don't think uh, Maruf, it is do relevant to the, the subject. Difference between the two? Right. Now, what I want to bring weapons. out is three I'm quick points. It's a, it's, it's the a first nuclear point state. is... That's what I said. Sir, Mr. Pirzada, I didn't interrupt when you were speaking. Now let me speak. The first thing is but that you were misrepresenting in what coups I said. happen all over the world of two kinds. Sir, please let me speak. The coup of in Pakistan in the past have happened with full military takeover, but there has been an incident in their history, Mr. Pirzada will remember, when General Abdul Wahid Kakar did an indirect intervention because the two prime ministerial hopefuls and candidates were squabbling between each other, which was Nawaz Sharif and Benazir Bhutto. The army in this case has put up a proxy from our understanding in the form of Imran Khan yeah. and the Qadri gentleman who comes in every few years, creates, creates a crisis like and goes away. Why they have done it is because Imran Nawaz Khan Sharif dared, sir, please let me speak. They, 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 they have done it privy. because Nawaz Sharif Maru, dared to step into the army's turf. The That's army's turf is stature. India, Pakistan, 
India, uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, is, the army stuff is also is nuclear issues, the army stuff is national Pakistan security, so they do India. not, they do not the want that you Mr. Nawaz Sharif to play a larger than Pakistan required situation. role. They are trying to clip his wings. Mr. Pizada, will you let somebody speak or do I have to ask you to shut up again? Please let somebody speak. Or oh, please say that again. And All I'm saying, let face. me give my point say of me, view. You don't agree with up. it, dismiss my argument for what it's worth. But the general, the general understanding is that the army is not happy with Nawaz Sharif going into their turf. And most importantly, Pakistan never learns from Again, its history. You, why doesn't you appoint an army chief army, by superseding no, others, which is, what, which is what happened in Muslim which is what happened to, in Zia's case, which is what happened in Ayub Khan's case. Mr. 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 And Mr. every time you appoint an army my chief question, thinking my question he is, is going to be pliable, sir, one you appoint an army you know, chief thinking he is going to be pliable, and then the people hate the speech because Nawaz Sharif has failed to govern the public expectation. Pakistan problem. Pakistan's problems Mr. Pizada, are there has been a coup in your Pakistan's country. Pakistan's problems are internal, both economy and yeah. terrorism. Nawaz Sharif is not being able to address uh, that. And the army uh, wants him to either compromise or step aside. Yeah. Now, this is the common wisdom all over the world, army with the exception maybe army of brilliance of people you, like Mr. Pizada, who feel everything is honky-dory. Despite 75,000 let me, let me on the street, let me let me ask uh, the Vice Marshal. Islamabad is still very much a, a peaceful land to be in, uh, and that? therefore, Mr. Pizada, I want to ask you a simple question: If the army is not uh, putting pressure on Nawaz Sharif, time. if the army is not condoning what is happening, why isn't the situation being brought under control? Why is your capital? Why is your parliament? Why is your red flagged areas of the prime minister's residence everything sieged by the protesters somebody is allowing them to get Can away I with that? it i want a, am i, I want air vice marshal abid rao to answer I, that who is the i want i want maruf one minute okay. please maruf please i i want air vice marshal abid rao to answer that air vice marshal uh, he's on a talking uh, okay screen. arnab uh, your observations may be correct from the classic definition of democracy but remember, every country has its own dynamics, own key players. And in Pakistan, this has been the shape of democracy since 1958, that the army generals have imposed martial law. And uh, it, that has remained in for 10 years, except for General Yaya, who was there for two years only. Having said that, now let's look at things objectively. I will talk to you as a common Pakistani, and you should listen to my comments that it is a governance failure. Mr. Qadri is there because of his 14 men being killed uh, mercilessly and then his 80 people getting bullet injuries and about I don't know how many hundred still missing, uh, which he claims. Now he is coming here for justice, which everybody feels was denied to him. Imran Khan is a political force since last 14 no, months. Sir. No, He's sir. been crying horse. Sir, I don't buy that. Uh, uh, that, you know, no, there I don't has been... That. No, may, no, may, listen may, to me. May, may now, army in Pakistan is a key player. It no, may be no, different no, in no, India. No, it may no, be different no, 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 in uh, no, is, uh, UK. Sir, it may be... Sir, my... Just, just sorry, sorry to cut you short there. But you know and I know everyone knows this whole damn thing is stage managed. And let me tell you why. And let GD Bakshi come in, we open, open debate. No, let's, let's debate this. I feel what's happening in Pakistan is stage managed. I'll give you one example. Why the very fact that your army advised your prime minister, your army advised your prime minister to go in for negotiations instead of holding his ground proves that the Pakistani army is in cahoots with Imran Khan and Qadri, both of whom, by the way, Vice Marshal, have woken up after more than a year to the alleged rigging in the polls, given the fact that the army did not support the, 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 the Nawaz Sharif government. So this whole thing is so transparent to everyone that these two people are being propped up by the army and then the army goes and tells the prime minister, go negotiate with them. Did the election commission of Pakistan Looks not like rubbish, the, rubbish the rigging Nawaz reports? No, one, statement. watch it. Did the election commission of Pakistan not rubbish the rigging reports? Did a commission of, of, of Supreme Court judges constituted to look into the allegations of rigging in, into the 2013 general elections? Was there not such a, such a commission which was there? Is there not reports today and both by Pakistan? Are Pakistani? you asking me? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Answer the two points. I'll okay, give you a third. Uh, 
Okay, the army will only advise Prime Minister because Prime Minister is in power and only he can take action. No, 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 no. Number army, one. No, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir. No, sir. No, no democracy. In no democracy. Agree. No, no, no. General Bakshi will come in. General Bakshi, please. It, no, sir, you have raised your army into... You know, you know, yes. uh, Air Marshal, Air Marshal, can I kindly come in because I would like to understand please. something. Yeah, yeah. Please. You know, Air Marshal... It is unfortunate day for Pakistan and I'm sure if I was a Pakistani in your place, I would feel bad at the demise of democracy yeah. or the impending demise of democracy. Uh, may I state that unfortunately the evolution of the Pakistani state has been such that it is only there that you can parachute a cleric like Qadri from Canada. And you can let loose an intellectual cipher like Imran Khan with a few 15,000 fans. You know, that is about all. It is not a grassroots movement, a whole country on the boil. 15,000 flash mob, which can easily be orchestrated by any intelligence agency. We've all seen the Arab Spring. We've all seen, you know, the colored revolutions. And all the intelligence organizations have learned the art of you know, conjuring up flash mobs. So this flash mob was conjured up 17, 18 days back when the Pakistan army was already in control, was already in control of the entire, you know, <coughs> VAs and VPs of Islamabad. The Pakistan army was already in control. Therefore, these flash mobs have been allowed to come in by the Pakistan army. Please see the behavior of the crowds towards the police and the Pakistan army. You know, it's quite sure they know who is backing them. Exactly. And those are images that we are all watching. Exactly. Then there is the question of moral outrage. See. No, no, no. Can I just... No, no, watch, watch. General, 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. I agree that this That's is a very a unfortunate statement. moment. But who yes, says is. that there is a demise of democracy we say or we are going to now uh, see martial law tomorrow or day after? Number one, all these comments are universal comments. Democracy must prevail. Sir, uh, how do you, you know that tomorrow the talks will sir, not succeed? I tell you. Sir, I there tell is tomorrow, already a team that has been constituted no, by no. the government and uh, the, sir, by sir, the you uh, know, you know two uh, behind uh, sides the that are protesting. Sir, you know what okay. has happened. You know I mean, what I agree. Happened. No, I'll See, tell you, we sir. have had a very, very turbulent sir, journey the on the road Sir, the Washington democracy. Post but and you know, the Guardian. Uh, one second, sir. The Washington Post and the Guardian among several international media are reporting that your Prime Minister, and I'm sorry to have to tell you no. this, but no, I'm surprised that you sit there in Pakistan no. and don't know. Your Prime Minister has negotiated a shameful deal with your army in return for their intervention. The deal entitles the army to take control of Pakistan's security and foreign policy. So one second, you may tell the whole world That is tomorrow. not true. That is not true. No, you will see tomorrow. You will see tomorrow. This, you'll is, see a tomorrow. this is a I'd fact. It's reported An announcement everywhere. of negotiations. So he's a Imran Khan Prime has Minister. also indicated his willingness to arrive at some conclusion with the uh, sir, army, Nawaz uh, with the uh, Nawashif government. And yes, army is staying away. Sir, I mean, uh, why should no, army I, be I blamed every time? No, no. Yes, in the past it has happened. No, sir. But this... in future, I mean, uh, one can't be so uh, correct sir, in making you know, this Nawaz fortune Sharif, telling. I remember what Nawaz Sharif tomorrow. said. So what, I remember Maruf, what Nawaz Sharif said when he became prime minister. And he said that I am very clear everybody oh, must no. be in their respective domain. When he was asked if the prime minister will be the army's next boss, he said, he said, the army is an attached department of the federal government and of course the chief of the army staff works against the federal government and implements the policies of the federal government. I don't think Nawaz Sharif will have the moral position to say that tomorrow. He is living on an oxygen tank Absolutely. provided by them. Ornab, Maruf. The thing is that in Pakistan, Ornab, the thing is in Pakistan, oh, the most oh. powerful political party is the army. Exactly. They are also so the Ornab, richest institution the in Pakistan. Pakistan needs a new model of democracy. I'm not saying democracy is completely incompatible for Pakistanis, but they need a new system. And then Jahangir Karamat had tried to negotiate that with Nawaz Sharif the last time. When it didn't work, 
Then Jahangir Karamat threw the towel in and walked out. Basically, he was saying, leave national security to the armed forces. The second aspect is that if Nawaz Sharif is going to survive now, he will only survive politically, having struck a compromise with the military. If he doesn't compromise with the military, he will meet his fate, which he has met in two occasions in the past. I don't know why Mr. Sharif didn't learn from history, didn't learn from his own experiences. Pakistan has why a... was he trying to rattle the establishment in Rawalpindi? They are the ones who are, you know, and See, let me tell you one last morally, point. The military will yeah. do what the people want it to do. If it enjoys, if it enjoys the support of the people in the streets, Tomorrow, the military will walk into the corridors of power. They've so, done it in the Maruf. past. They did it in Ayub's time. They did it in but Zia's they never time. Cared, he, so the point at but issue they is, cared, if Maruf. they show that... But they never cared, Maruf. You know, I'm sorry. But today, what is well, happening absolutely. in Pakistan, Mr. Pirzada? But, and please come in rationally on this but, and don't give you, me one of those lectures. We've got some Chinese nuclear toys. Who cares if you have? But, please answer the question. I My charge anything. tonight is, I sir, please, a nuclear state. sir, please all listen this is to all me. I said. Mr. Pizada, you know, you? you know, Mr. Pizada, I said tonight that we are very sad at your condition. When you are bankrupt, no, no, we you are sad. Be sad about when you are, when you are divided, we are sad. When the Americans run you over, Indians we are sad. When, 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 when we find don't Osama on Pakistan. your soil, despite you, you your lies that Pakistan you don't have Osama on your else. soil, when you are Come caught red-handed, we are sad. Rajal but Mr. Rakshi, Pizzada, but Mr. I mean, Pizzada, a minute, please. A minute, a minute. You see, Mr. Pizzada, Mr. Pizzada, it's a serious debate. It's a serious debate. It's a serious debate. I want to listen to me, Mr. Pizzada. Is it a serious debate? Yes, it is. And you need to listen to me. You can never afford to be serious. Yeah. So I'll give you one example. So my contention. Maruf cannot be serious. My contention is, Mr. Pizzada. Nor can General Bakshi. Mr. Pizzada, don't get personal with General Bakshi or Maruf. I answer a question. My contention. And you. That's all right, Mr. Pizzada. You seem. You see, no, 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 don't address me directly. That Talk to our now. Talk to the good officers of Arnav. You're misinformed. not a host. Just You're look not into the, the host mirror and program. ask yourself a simple Otherwise, question. Otherwise, I'll have to Are you say, reading shut up the writing you. on the wall, Mr. Pizzada? Are you reading the writing on the wall are and you? spilling the Can coffee? Can you read and write, Mr. Pizzada? Or are you better still than a child? assuming Can that Pakistan's going to be honky-dory three years from now. Does Pakistan respect democracy to have it? Oh, yes. Does Pakistan have respect? Are you going to read Pakistani newspapers? And nobody else. Mr. Pizzada, I told Mr. Pizzada. You will never be able to grow up. Mr. Pizzada, Mr. Pizzada, we're all grown-up people and mature people. But you have to ask me a question. Mr. Pizzada, please listen to me. I have a few minutes left on the debate and I ask a question tonight. Does Pakistan respect democracy enough? And please let me say this. In 1970-71, the world saw a classic example of your democracy and how it sidelines popular will. The Awami League won the most seats in your National Assembly, about 160. And yet the voice of your people was suppressed. A war was triggered before because of it. And your country was left divided because of the fact that the then president refused to hand over power to the Awami League, despite their getting a majority of the seats. This proves you Absolutely. never respected democracy. You trample democracy, you stifle democracy, you stifle the voice of the people. Let, let, let and today me, what happens on that. the streets, or what happens we in the streets of Pakistan today is a result let, of the fact that right, you never Arnav, respected democracy, enough, Mr. Let me answer that. I, I, Arnav, by the way, run those pictures break. of what happened today. And my, breather, Mr. Gini Bakshi, Mr. Bakshi, Mr. Gini Bakshi, Mr. Gini Bakshi, you should have respected democracy in 1771, you didn't. What will you do now? 42 years back, you did Gini Bakshi. We did, Gini Bakshi. We did respect GD democracy you know, you know, uh, and carved the country for you know, ourselves let's, let's out just, of the body let's of just, British India. Sir, that was, that was the Bakshi. best Mr. exercise of democratic Mr. free will of democracy. That was the best Mr. Pirzada, uh, yesterday when you were not we there, in we had a very fine debate. We, we broke your back and made a country out okay, of... Okay, okay. Thank you. Exercise. Thank you. Thank you for breaking our back. We are still around. Jal Bakshi. Okay, Mr. General Pizzada, Bakshi, can I, continue. you know, let's come back to the present. Let's come back to the present. Shall we please come back to the present? Go ahead, Jal Bakshi. Can we please come back to the present? You know, there is a sense of moral outrage being expressed. You know, there is a sense of moral outrage being expressed. We would like to, you know, look at the quantitative analysis of this outrage. 
Imran Khan won just 34 seats. 34 seats. Out of this, he said four was where he suspected, you know, some kind of a problem. From what we know, from what we know, these polls were monitored by the European Union and other countries, and they gave a clean chit to the last poll on the basis of a manufactured rage supported by the army. It is a great pity that civilians like you collaborate, collaborate with your army to derail democracy. I mean, it's a great pity. It is men like you. Arnab, like Arnab you. let me correct respect, some facts. I let me correct some facts. Marshall, he's a professional. He is at least talks straight. Sir, but Marshall, collaborators he... like you <coughs> no, air, collaborators like you who get the military in no, no, every air time. Vice, air Marshal will also accept 1958, okay. 1977, exactly. 1999 see, we, and our now civil 2014. society does yes. not support 58 martial law. 7071, yes, uh, the, the uh, Awami League mandate was not respected and we suffered. That's what I said. You Today things are democracy. different. Let me tell you. Uh, why there is a problem against civilian governments is because they do not deliver what they promise pre-elections. Imran Khan got 34 seats because there was massive rigging. Four seats he offered to open, not because there was rigging only on four seats. He said as a sample case, let's open four seats. I have seen in Karachi there was massive rigging against Imran Khan and Jamaat Islami. Jamaat Islami quit the uh, elections on day of that day, 11th May. So After how three hours of polling, because their people later? were beaten up. No, how come so, this came up one year later? No, 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 no. How it is come not one year later? Come up one all year these later while, man, where was Kadri till these, now? All these while, Imran Khan has uh, been knocking at the door of election tribunal, the uh, normal judiciary, no response, the political doors, no response, and his last threat was to come on the roads. You wanted you uh, read his speeches for last one year. He has been saying that. So this is you a see, power vacuum. Your observation sir, is correct. You know, no, your no. conclusions are not right. Sir, the, this, Please, sir, uh, you know. Let's be honest about it. Sir, it hurts us more than it hurts India. Sir, let us let us be honest about it. If you want to be honest, I'll oh, tell no. you. Oh, what no. there is a power vacuum suitably created for the army to step in and get back and Nawaz Sharif for all the times the Prime Minister has not towed the line of the Pakistani army. Whether allow me to complete. Whether it is regarding whether it is regarding his insistence on the trial of Musharraf or about his intent to improve ties with India. And you say trouble started three weeks back. Are, you know what no, happened no, no. three these weeks are, back? He told the army these I want better ties with India. No, so this is a perfectly you crafted opportunity. You had relations with Parvez Musharraf sir, despite Kargil. Sir, you have had despite a... Despite 2002 sir, standoff, sir, both let, armies sir, facing sir, each other for nine, ten months. Mr. 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 Air Vice Marshal. And we had best relations with Air Mr. Marshal. Air Marshal, Air Marshal and you've had a history of allegations of widespread rigging in your election. This is not new. The Supreme Court of Pakistan ruled in October 2012 that there was ample evidence Honor. to suggest that the, that the elections of 1990 were rigged. How many times did you have a situation like that in the 22 years between 1990 and 2012? Sir, the election... Unfortunately, most of the times, most of the times, the, there has been rigging in the election. So how many governments have fallen we on have that? We have not been able to get out how of this How many malaise? governments have fallen on that? Check. And where was your army till now? It is the same people who come back alternately. It is Mr. Uh, Zardari's party or Mr. Nawaz Sharif. So nothing has changed. Now people have seen a hope in Mr. Imran Khan that he is not a conventional okay, or Maru a, Fraza, a guy raised in a Maru family Fraza, like this is all part of a natural process of political change. Or is not. the argument coming in from Lahore? Yes, please, Maruf. Two minutes on the debate. Maru Fraza. Or not. Yes, last two, three quick points. One is that in Pakistan, I keep repeating that the army wants a bigger role in national security and formalized. If Nawaz Sharif is not going to be willing to give it, he'll lose his chair. The second point is Nawaz Sharif's central expectations from the people were that he would deliver on good governance, the economy and some amount of internal stability. He did not do much on that. I've heard Pakistanis tell me abroad that they were, they were of the impression that Mr. Sharif was becoming equally as corrupt as he was in the past. So there was a problem there. And the third point is, if Sharif is to survive, either he does an open compromise with the army or we will have a titular government in the form of Imran Khan supported by the army from outside because the West and the international community wants to feel they will be dealing with a democratically elected leader. 
but it will be at least another decade or more before the army loses relevance in Pakistan. They are Pakistan's most powerful entity. And as yet, I don't see any political or otherwise force that can remove the army from the saddle which they've got back into. Period. Well, period. Also, last point here. And someone should understand that in a country where that the will of the people is sidelined, where elections are rigged, where a prime lifetime. minister becomes a puppet Maru prime Zaza, minister, sir, sir, spare us. That Spare Pakistan your attention on Jammu and Kashmir. And Solve your problems. Your country your is lifetime. on the verge Maru of an implosion. So we sympathize with you. Pakistan. But but you know what? Take care of your own problems. Thank you very much for joining me on the last debate on the news article. Yeah, and take care of... <laughs>